Hi, my name's Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn fractions into decimals. So, the most basic type of fraction that we want to turn into a decimal is one that might look like this. 75 divided by 100. Now, if you look at the 100, you see two zeros. So, when you're dividing by zeros, all it has the effect of doing is moving the decimal point on the numerator to the left twice, okay? However many zeros you see, that's how many times you have to jump, okay? So, the first zero, we jump here. Second zero, we jump here. Okay, and we put a zero in front, so we've got 75 divided by 100 as 0 0.75. Okay, so that's basically the decimal that you're looking to when you've got 75 divided by 100. Now, just imagine if you have another decimal, I mean, another fraction, which may be, say, 4 divided by 25. The first thing again would be to actually see how many times you can multiply this to get to 100 and whatever you've done to this denominator you have to do to the numerator. So the easiest way to get this to be 100 is to multiply it by 4. And again just to preserve the fraction's weight we would need to multiply the top also by four. So we have 16 divided by 100. As you can see here again, we've got two zeros. So we're gonna do the same thing as what, what we've done with um, this particular sum. We're going to jump twice. So we jump once and then we jump twice. Now that gives us 0 0.16 or 0 0.16. Now, these are pretty trivial. When you get to the situation whereby you can't convert um, the denominator, say, for instance, with this question, 3 divided by 8, you can see that changing this to 100 is a bit hard. So what you're going to need to do is to use short division on this. So we start off by using our tableau, our division tableau, and we say three divided by eight. So the eight goes out here and the three goes here. So the first thing you would want to do is see how many times eight goes into three. And you can see that's a bit, it's not gonna happen. So put the decimal point there and the zero there and also the decimal point goes there. Now you extend your tableau because behind this um, number three obviously lies your decimal point. Most of you would know that, but some of you might be um, lacking the knowledge to know that you have an infinite number of zeros extending beyond that. So we can start drawing in some zeros, okay? Now, as you can see, the eight was unable to go into the three. So what the three now becomes is a remainder. So the remainder goes on the top left-hand corner of the first zero. So to make 30, okay? Now, how many times does eight go into 30, okay? Now that question is answered just by multiplying up. All you have to do is one times eight is eight, two times eight, 16, 3 times 8, 24, 4 times 8, 32. So we can't use 4 times 8 because that's 32. So we go back down to 24, which is 3 times 8. So we can see that this goes in 3 times. It arrives at um, 24, so our remainder is 6. So the 6 goes on top there. And now we have 
um, 60. So now we want to find out how many times 8 goes into 60. Now if you remember your 8 times table, the one that people most commonly remember is 8 times 8, which is 64. Now you can see that that has just gone past 60. So if you go back one down to seven times eight, that gives us 56, okay? So eight goes into 60 seven times. So we put the seven there and another zero. We would just say if it goes up to 56, then we've got a remainder of four, okay? Now, you can already see we've got 0 0.37, okay? Now it's sufficient to stop here because we've got two decimal numbers, but um, you can see that this will only be an approximation. It might be 0 0.3759 whatever, but that number will extend on until you have a repeated term. So I mean, once you've got two numbers, you can gladly stop there. But in order to calculate the third number, we would say eight goes into 40. So you would go up to 32 and you would realize that five times another four, another eight would go into 40, five times. So you would just stick that there. So, and even there, you can see that you don't have any more remainders. So nothing to place up here, just go zero. So our answer, to three times eight, three divided by eight, sorry, is 0 0.375. Now remember, with um, the short division version, you would probably only need to calculate two numbers after the decimal point. I mean, it depends on what kind of question you're doing, but two numbers would suffice. That's pretty much how to calculate um, decimals from fractions.